good evening and welcome back to Family Icon Fox. Uh, me and Phoebe are going to an appointment in Great Ormond Street today, so we thought we'd take you along and um, we can kind of fill you in a bit about our peek at you a little bit as well. So, um, yeah. And we're off on our little adventure. Daddy wasn't feeling quite up to coming with us, so we've invited Nana and possibly Grampy to come with us so that we're not on our own, which means we're going on coach rather than train like we normally do because um, it costs less but we've just got to pop into the shop to get some change for the bus to get into town to catch the coach and meet Nana and Grampy. You're looking forward to going? Yeah. Yeah. Change acquired. Got a little bit of a snack as well because we haven't eaten this morning yet. Um, heading down to the bus stop as we speak. A little view of down to the bus stop. You right, Phoebes? Yeah. Yeah? So you may remember me on the vlogs from the holiday saying about my knee playing up. We're actually just coming up to where I actually injured it. So um, when we get a bit closer, I will show you. So it's actually just here. I managed to trip up that bit of curb and land my knee onto them bits. And yeah, it hasn't been the same ever since that. And that was, was when Tyler started at school and he's going into year three in September. So quite a while ago now. And we have arrived at our first destination of the bus stop. Is that our bus stop here? Yeah, right just there is our bus stop. We're going to stop and wait here. We're a little bit early, but we gave us plenty of time to walk down, didn't we? Yeah. Also, if you are wondering where Tyler is, he is currently at his dad's. Um, he's been there since the Thursday after we got back from holiday. Um, he's having a lovely time. We went to Butlins, had some fun. So when he comes back, we'll see if we can get him to do just a little little video to tell you about his lovely adventures that he's had there with his dad. Well, Phoebe looks at me weirdly. The most impatient person waiting at a bus stop that I've ever known. Constantly, every second, she's going, how long to the bus? How long to the bus? How long? Mum, can you check how long? Aren't you? Excited. You're just excited. No, I have an itchy leg when I was down there. Mm. Is it itchy still? No. no? But my back is. Your back is. Whereabouts? You won't even see it. I won't see it. Shall I itch it for you? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Love you. Bye-bye. Well, the bus is in fact late by quite a while it was meant to be here at 10 27 and um still no sign of it so um we could be maybe cutting it a bit fine on having to get from one bit of town to the other side to be able to catch the coach but hopefully fingers crossed when mummy's worked it out we've left enough time for delays hey fingers crossed Finally came. Oh, we're going to go and meet Nana. We're going to meet Nana. <laughs> oh. Bumpy, bumpy. Well, we are just pulling up at the stop where Nana's going to get on. Let's see if we can see her out the window. Oh, I can just see her flexible. Oh, I can see her. I can see her. She's just there. I can confirm she's there. And she is. There she is. Nanny. Nanny. Who is it, Phoebe? Nanny. Nanny. So there's been a change to plan. Grampy phoned and said that he's finished at the appointment he was at. And we've just got, well, we got off the bus we were on and met him. And he's going to drive us to Thornhill where he was going to be getting on at. So we've got a bit of time to kill. So we're just in co op trying to find something to eat on the coach but we can't seem to locate the sandwiches so at Thornhill Park and Ride just going wait in for the coach and getting a bit of an earlier one so we can have a bit of a relax get into Great Ormond Street before we get into London so kind of working out a bit better coming here but it's quite nice here yeah they're quite nice Apart from obviously the fact that they haven't worked done, but it's quite nice in there, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey, let's yes. Get, look, what am I? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is it? Oh, 
who are on the coach. Phoebe's got her seatbelt strap on, strapped in. <laughs> Put my power pack and there's wireless charging on here, so I can charge my phone up while we're on the way. You enjoying the coach? Phoebe darling, are you comfortable sat like that? No, <laughs> why are you sat like it then? Because it's funny. Because it's funny. Can you sing your song to everybody? Yeah. Yeah. No, you're not going to sing it. Okay, you've got a little shy. Okay. You're not shy. You're never shy. I am shy. Yeah, you are. 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 Is that your son? Yes, thank you. Maybe we're going into a tunnel of doom. train station we normally get off at so that means we're what we're nearly there so we are now at Great Ormond Street we got off at um Marble Arch and then we walked down and then jumped in a taxi but I didn't feel quite safe recording stuff so I just walked along holding Phoebe's hand and having a bit of time so I don't know if they let us record inside but um if not I will fill you in with everything later on so Taxi tour of London. Mm. <laughs> oh, some great works. On the coach home. Heading home to Daddy. Learn lots of things. You did it, Mummy did. Why? Why? Because I did. Why? You've got some new cookbooks as well. I sleep. Yeah, good. That's true. Every time I get the camera out to film the views, that's true. Every time. Every bloody time, Phoebe. Phoebe, just beyond them trees, right? You ain't gonna be able to see it because there's trees all the way along. It's where Grandma lives. So, what does that mean? Does it mean we're nearly home? We're well, off the coach back at Thornhill Park and Ride. Um, just a car journey back home. And then I can fill you in a little bit about BKU, because I don't think I have yet. And I can let you all know what information you find out today and show you some books. So, see you at home. Well, we're home. We're safe. Got a bit of an headache, but always do when we go up. Uh, it's the stress and worry about they're going to say something that we're doing something wrong. La -di -da -di -da. But we're back, we've just dropped everything off at home um, and then we're just going to run over to the shop quickly, grab something in for dinner, something quick and easy and we need some more cat food as well. Phoebe obviously when we gets back in wants to show you the cats so we can get that sorted and then I can just briefly go on about BKU. Right, do you want to introduce them? So who's this one here? Lena. Lena. I love her. You love her. Oh. And who's this one? Oh, and he's gone. Oreo. Oreo. He doesn't. He's waiting for that food, aren't they? Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll get you just here while you wait by the kitchen door for some food. So this one's Oreo, isn't it? Yeah. So he's a male, isn't he? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. And then this little madam. This little madam's Luna. So we've had them. We've had them. When did we get them? We got them at the start of September, wasn't it last year? So um, we've had them for nearly a whole year now. Um, they're little rascals, aren't they? But we love them. Yeah. Yeah. But I love Luna. You love Luna more, don't you? She is more loving than Oreo, isn't she? Well, I think they're wanting their dinner, so we best get them fed. Yeah? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my phone and see if I can find some videos of when we got the cats. So when they were like little kittens. Basically, PKU is basically Phoebe's body can't process protein fully, so she has to have supplements to um, obviously, what do you call it, continue the chain. So basically her chain on her body will go to a certain point and then she can't process any further. So what the supplements have in it, which we call her Animix, um, has obviously the rest of the supplement, the next key in the chain kind of thing, so that then she can then process the rest of it. Um, obviously because of this, it does limit how much protein she can have in her diet each day, um, which kind of works out kind of like the best way I can describe it. It's kind of like Slimming World does. So obviously they can have a certain amount of sins a day. Phoebe can have a certain amount of exchanges a day. So Phoebe can have five a day, and we have to make sure that five is split throughout the whole day. Um, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's all right, sometimes she'll eat, she wants to eat a lot. There's obviously a lot of free stuff that she can have, a lot of stuff that we can get on prescription. Um, obviously, so we got just got today, we just got, um, obviously it was like a checkup kind of thing for her. I got to email them a list of stuff that we currently have on prescription so that they can then go, oh, try this, try that. This might make it a bit easier. They gave us a new updated version of some of the recipe books that we already had, um, but there are new updated versions of it. So um, me, Phoebe wants to give that a go once we've kind of like gone through it. Hello, Lena, darling. Once we've gone through it. Um, but then, yeah, so what... I'm kind of hopefully planning on doing is I want to start kind of like when we do make Phoebe stuff in bulk like her curries that she has with all free veg when we make them and when we make like cakes and stuff um it'd be really cool to start kind of like recording it um yeah it'd be really cool to start recording it and just kind of showing you the process of all and everything and just kind of like starting to kind of like teach you guys a little bit more about PKU than what you can see on the internet and what you can find when you search it because a lot of the stuff that you find when you search it isn't actually true um so yeah um we just thought we were sort of obviously we had been wanting to do this obviously a long time ago but obviously with everything with Ash you know we just kind of got pushed back and back and back but um yeah, it's definitely something that we want to start doing. It's kind of like getting it it known and getting people to know what PKU is so that obviously if they ever have a child that ends up having it, um, they know a bit more about it than we did and are not quite so shocked and thinking, oh my God, I've never heard of this 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 thing. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so hopefully in the next coming videos, we'll be able to... Um, to teach you a bit more about it um, anyway we're going to teach you some stuff about it hopefully get the word out a bit more and um we can kind of like go from there and kind of like build on it and obviously if anyone has any questions about pku then obviously put a comment into the video and we will obviously try and reply as best as we can and um yeah if you want i can do a video just purely just going through the ins and the outs of pku and what we have to do just in just one day with it but um yeah i will 
get off, go and sort of dinner out and um, get this edited and uploaded because it's already half eight and Phoebe's hungry and tired because she's normally in bed by now and yeah I just want to sit down and chill out first today so yeah so um thank you for coming to Ormond Street with us it was a bit hit and miss it was the first time going about Ash um because like I said his stamina and fitness he didn't feel up to being able to do it and this and all that um so yeah hopefully next time when we have to go in February hopefully Ash is feeling a bit more up to it and he can come with us and you'll probably have a better, a, a better video to watch than what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you again for coming with us. And um, yeah, TTFN guys.